Sir, while we are in the midst of food grains shortage, I have asked the different ministries concerned to consider the question of prices of some other items of goods which are also essential for our day-to-day -day life. Sometimes the prices of these articles lead to to an increase in prices of food grains. Some of these items are cloth, vegetables, oils, sugar, matches, kerosene, tea, soap and vanaspadi. It is important to fix the prices of these items and properly enforce them. These products are of interest to the common man and to the low income groups generally. Prompt action has already been taken in regard to the fixation of prices of popular varieties of cloth and it has been decided not to leave it to voluntary control. We should as in other countries generally adapt the practice of selling goods as fixed prices. In fact, there should be a display of prices for all essential commodities and they should be sold only at those prices. It should become more or less a matter of habit for the producer and the seller to know and understand that there will be no undue profiteering at any time. This may take time but we must move in that direction. Will it be possible for some of the shopkeepers at least to set an example? Let it be the duty of their associations or other voluntary organizations to give a lead in this regard. I am sure that if they do it, they will create tremendous goodwill for themselves and also truly serve the people. I would also like to suggest that there should be as many consumer cooperative societies as possible. There may be shortcomings in their workings, but the public workers should try their level best to sell articles at a fixed price and the quality is also maintained. I have stressed this point at the All India Conference of Cooperative Societies. I remind you the importance here also. May I mention here that recently special checks were carried quietly in Delhi in order to study the retail prices of some of the essential commodities. It was found that there was a premium of 1 paisa over the printed prices of matches, but in a certain area one shop quoted a still higher price. In one case, in regard to the purchase of sugar, the receipt was not given and the rate charged was also higher. There was also a heavy premium on Dunlop bicycle tires. The general tendency was not to show the price list. But on the whole, except for some variation here and there, the prices of medicines were the same all over the city. Philips electric bulbs and Dalda Vanaspadi are being sold at stamped prices, the rates being fixed by the manufacturers. It is obvious that officers should frequently go around and find out for themselves whether products are being sold at prices fixed by the government. Prompt and effective action in handling a few cases will have a tonic effect. Even this may not be necessary if the people concerned know that the authorities are going round and keeping a close watch on the situation. It is therefore essential that the officials realize their full responsibilities. I am told that some kind of demoralization has set in among the officials. I am sorry to hear of it. I would advise them to act without fear or favor. The government will lend them for full support as things will be very difficult in the next few months. I want the officers not to suffer from any doubts. 
Letter from Mrs. Binney and Company Limited, Madras to Mrs. Vincent and Company Limited, Number no. Six, Madurai Road, Tiruchirappalli, dated twentieth August, nineteen seventy six. Dear sirs, we acknowledge your letter, dated. 15th July 1976 evincing interest to be our stockists for our district we usually appoint stockists for particular towns only to have better control by our area supervisors you have stated in your letter that you own offices in all the towns in tiruchirappalli the overall performance by our organizations has been considered by the management of the company considering these factors it has been decided to appoint you as stockist for four towns in your district initially after one or two years your performance will be watched and your request for appointment as stockists for the entire district will be considered regarding the terms and conditions of appointment a printed form is enclosed you may kindly go through the classes therein and let us know your concern there too in the matter of commission during festive seasons it will be arrived at by the company taking into consideration the government policies from time to time our area supervisor will be in frequent contact with you you can obtain samples of latest designs and new products of the company through him you can discuss with him any of the local problems we have no hesitation in saying that your sincere efforts will always bear fruits yours faithfully